across the developing world, women lag behind in labor force participation, in employment, in earnings. We observe that social and legal norms can be barriers to women's ownership of assets and segment them into lower productivity jobs. If half of the population is suffering from gender inequities in economic and social life, it will be impossible to end poverty as a whole. One of the lessons that we've learned throughout 40 years of experience as part of the LSMS is that not every survey, every data set is created equal. If the right data are not collected at all, or are collected by in a biased or a non-representative way, the resulting policies may be flawed. Solutions to raising living standards and ultimately to eliminate gender inequality are only possible if we have the right data. Cambodia unquestionably has recorded remarkable progress in reducing poverty over the last two decades. But this doesn't mean that the ability of people to meet their basic needs in terms of food, clothing, shelter, access to basic services is the same across the country, particularly among women. There's work to be done. We are here in Cambodia to support the National Institute of Statistics to conduct the Living Standards Measurement Study Plus survey. The ultimate goal is to improve the quality of life of people, all people. But policy making process needs data. What makes LSMS Plus different is that we're supporting a new generation of national surveys conducted by national statistical offices to obtain information from adults in private interviews, as opposed to relying on other individuals in the same households to provide information on behalf of these individuals. When the LSMS first came into existence, we typically interview the household head, who is the self-identified most knowledgeable person in the household, and in most countries that person is typically going to be male. And what we found is that men answer these questions very differently than women would when asked the same questions. We need to change the culture of household survey data collection in a way that collects more gender-sensitive data. And that is the key message we're trying to communicate with a program like the LSMS Plus. You know, the enumerators are really the foot soldiers in a household survey, so they're the ones that are actually out there traveling to households, sitting with a respondent for as many hours as it takes to collect the best information from a respondent on their livelihood and well-being. We get these different urban versus rural settings that we're working in, and they have different challenges that they face, um, different day-to-day -day lives, right? So if we want to find the best solutions for everyone in Cambodia, then we need to visit people in both places. The principal challenge of working in an urban environment like the Phnom Penh and trying to schedule interviews is to accommodate people's busy schedules. Compared to the big city, life in the countryside happens at a slower pace. The challenges of working in rural areas are different. It takes more time and effort to get to our destinations because often the road infrastructure is less than ideal. Agriculture is a big part of rural lives, so we have to schedule our interviews around the schedule of agricultural activities. An interview begins by an enumerator explaining the purpose of that survey. In the case of the LSMS Plus, we then proceed with a household interview, followed by individual interviews with adult household members in private about education, health, employment, ownership of assets, such as parcels, financial assets. 
In LSMS Plus, we use male interviewer to interview a male uh, respondent and female interviewer to interview a female respondent. The reason is because some questions the respondent did not want to respond uh, to those who have an, not the same gender. So that is the good way in order to capture so much better information. You know, I'm very proud of the fact that this country is the first country in Asia which has been selected for an SMS Plus project. I sincerely hope that the outcome, the result of this project, would provide some good example for the other country in the region. <laughs> I think that improving the opportunity of women in Cambodia would help brighten Cambodia in the future. As the father, I always like think about the futures of my three children. I want them to live in a better condition, uh, to live in a better Cambodia. Every single data point has a human story. Our goal is for these data to reflect as accurately as possible the stories of our respondents, Cambodian people, such that the governments can design policies that improve everyone's lives.